Hey, welcome back to the DM's Craft. I'm DM Scotty. Uh, nice to have you here again. Uh, this is episode eight, uh, part two. Um, uh, this time we're going to work on uh, finishing out the fire pit and uh, doing some cobbling um, on the steps and around the fire pit. Um, you could do it with the stone texture, but I thought it'd be fun to do some cobbling uh, by painting it on and I'll show you how to do that. And uh, let's get to it. So now I'm showing the fire pit. And uh, something I want to do is uh, I want to make it look like there's a fire in the pit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue down. Uh, this is just white glue, uh, uh, just Elmer's glue. And I don't want to fill it up with glue, but I'll just kind of do areas. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some uh, flock in there, which is just the coarse sand like I've mentioned before. And um, I'll just sprinkle it on the... And we'll let that dry and I have one more step I want to do. As you can see, I've got my fire pit uh, front and center. Uh, what I'm going to do is add a little extra embellishment to that. And um, I'm going to use um, toothpick, um, pieces of toothpick, um, to like their logs in the fire. So um, I've just broken up some toothpicks uh, with my hand. And uh, I'm going to put those on top of the, uh, the flocking in the fire. So I'll uh, put some glue down. Not covering with glue, but I'm getting enough glue that I can get all the logs in there. So I'm just going to pour them in there. And then just kind of spread them around. So now that should look like a really good fire pit. Um, I'm also going to add, add a little extra flocking on the top of that. So I'll put a few more squirts of glue in there on top of the logs. You don't want to cover them up. Flocking on there, just sand. So now I'll let that dry, and uh, the fire pit will be done. So here's the village meeting house. It's all uh, uh, base painted black and ready to go. Um, as you can see, um, got the doorway in, the fire pit. Um, this is going to be a back storage room that the player characters may be able to sneak in and come out and surprise the enemies. And uh, just turn that around so you can see it. And uh, the next step I'll move on to um, painting it the brown texture uh, wood. And um, here's a player, here's a model character so you can see what the scale is. And uh, we'll move to the next step from here. Okay, I've got my tile looking really good. Um, I've got it all painted up with the wood texture. Um, I have a figure here to show the scale of this tile. It's an enormous tile. Uh, i got a fire pit in the center. And um, I showed you this technique in um, the last video. Um, now, if you notice one thing on this tile, um, the edge around the fire pit is still black and the steps are still black because uh, I wanted to show you a detail that I was going to do uh, on these. I could have painted them separately with the texture paint, but I actually want to paint a, paint stones uh, like a stone cobbling on these pieces and I'll show you how I do that. As you can see, I've got a close up of my fire pit. Um, the edge around it is black. Uh, I've got some pewter gray acrylic on my plate, my palette, and what I'm going to do is paint some stones on this edge um, to make it look like um, some stones have been mortared together. So I'm just going to kind of every so often. And 
and then you don't have to be perfect. So there we go, I've got the uh, stones done in there. So um, I'll let that dry and then we'll move on to the steps. I've got my steps here and I've got the door frame, to, uh, door frame removed for easy viewing or easy access. So I'm gonna use the same brush and uh, get some of that gray pewter on there. Now I'm gonna do a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna kinda make the blobs for the stone and then I'll doesn't have to be perfect in fact that kind of adds it's not so you can see what I've got going there see how I'm kind of varying the stone Okay, so there we go. We've got our stone steps done. We'll let those dry and then we'll do a final touch to them. Now my stones have dried, but um, I've got um, the mortar is black, so I want to uh, make that a little less um, obvious. So I'm going to use some watered down gray that I used for the stones and just paint over the steps. So that'll kind of mute that a bit. And uh, I'll let that I'll let that dry and then we'll come up come back and finish these finish up these stones. So I've let the gray wash dry, and as you can see it muted the black between the stones, so it looks a little more like mortar. So now I'm gonna use um, my uh, gray sky. This is the same stuff I use to um, highlight the stone tiles. So let's put a, lot, a little on the plate. And I'm going to use a detail brush. Um, so I'm going to wet that gray a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is kind of pick out the stones. So watch closely. Almost like I'm tracing the stone. But I'm leaving gaps in the trace. Okay, so I've got all the stones done, and uh, you can see how they pop out. Here's my fire pit, and look how good that looks. Now I'm going to use the uh, same uh, very light gray, and I'm going to pick out the edge of the uh, border. So there we go, that little extra uh, added uh, highlight. I've highlighted the, st uh, the edges of the stairway also. Uh, one last little detail, I'm gonna use my um, bristle brush and put the shadows in on the stairs, so I'm just gonna run it along the edge there. And uh, the bristle brush, brush works out nice because it's stiff and it will stay in that crack there. So that adds a little extra uh, dimension and uh, now we'll get a total look at this tile. It's 
So here's the tile in all its glory. Uh, I got a little figure here to uh, show scale. So this is a pretty large tile. Uh, I got the steps leading up into the doorway, the smash doorway. Um, large area, fire pit. Um, I've got a storage area back here. When I set up the top for play, I'm going to have some doors there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this tile like I'm going to use it in play and show every, all the elements all on the tile together and uh, to, just to show you how spectacular it will look in play. So uh, we'll show you that now. <laughs> 